What's up guys? Some of you guys have uh, been asking for a tutorial on how I did my rain meter setup. So I'm just going to be mostly focusing on this part because that's pretty much the only complicated part of this. Um, so yeah, so first you're going to need to make a cutout of your wallpaper um, where the background becomes a transparent uh, PNG file such as hold on. such as this so I cut out everything that's not part like the windowsills or the dude and his cat um, and then once you do that you're gonna need to make a folder call it whatever I just called mine spaceman layer one and then you're gonna need to make a dot ini file and in that you're gonna need to copy paste this line or these lines of code and then just replace this with whatever the PNG name is um, that you're using and place that in the same folder and then in rain meter make sure that that's just load order zero on desktop now for this, um, these are actually uh, circle launcher skins, and I just set the transparency to 100. Okay, well first you're gonna make need to make a folder, call it whatever. I just call mine wallpapers, and in that you're gonna need to make an at resources folder, and that make an images folder, and then here's where all of your images will be. That'll pop up when you hover over. Um, the icons and so I just named mine simple things like Chrome or BF4 and then you'll also need to make another folder I called mine circle wallpapers you can call it whatever and in this you need to have a folder for every single um, like icon that you have and in that folder you need to have a .ini file and that .ini file Want you to have these lines and obviously replace the image name with uh, whatever you call your image so something.png um, which will open this so now if you go to for me a circle launcher and then Battlefield 4, uh, which style did I use? <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, this one. So you're going to need to add these lines. And obviously, um, if your pathway is different, you're going to need to edit that pathway and then edit the INI file to make it the name of yours. To make it easier, you could just use the same name as mine. And then. Uh, to actually make it look like they reflect on the ground, all I did was when I made the uh, the image for them to pop up, I I just made a copy of the original logo. I inverted it and I made the transparency uh, about 50%. And I spaced them out a little bit. So then, that way, when you hover over it, where is it? It looks like it's actually reflecting down there. Um, same with everything else. And then for the fountain of colors here. All that is, is... So I have... Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot to mention something. So, on these images, you're gonna make sure you set uh, the load order to maybe two or one, whatever you want. And I choose the transparency as around 50. Um, that way it doesn't look like 
completely solid object behind it. I think it just looks better, but that's personal preference. Um, anyways, found the colors. So, I have the original set at uh, 80 transparency, and I have it inverted. So you have to change these lines to invert equals 1, and angle equals 180. And then my clone is uh, it's just a clone, and then the transparency is only at 30. So it looks like it's a mirror on the ground, if that makes sense. And I think that's about it. So, if you need more help, just drop a comment, because I don't do a very good job at explaining things with words coming out of my mouth. So, yeah, see ya.